very interested or passionate about, you know, marine life and uh, parang trying to clean up the seas. Actually, um, it, right here, if you see, this is this is Cora. This is actually our humble nonprofit organization and nag-umpisa sa uh, volunteer groups, volunteers, friends, family. And really, the goal was makatulong lang in any way uh, sa pagbigay ng pagkain sa nangangailangan in any way possible talaga. And pag tinatanong nga ako dati na daw ba kung environmentalist, sa totoo lang, Actually, hindi po. Hindi po ako lumaki na pinag-uusapan actually yung mga topics na to. Parang bago lang din siya nangyari sa buhay ko na slowly ko din siyang na-discover little by little just in the last few years. Pero dati ko pa pong mahal ang ating kalikasan, ang ocean, ang beach. <laughs> <laughs> Oo. Pero how did your advocacy start? It seems to me that you're very passionate about it. The fact na nag-attend ka ng conference about it, hindi siya yung parang passing fancy lang na parang, oh, I think this is a nice advocacy for me to be a part of. I'll post about it and maybe I'll support some events. But for you to actually attend a conference means na parang you're in it for the long run, di ba? Yes, of course, of course. Even for us on our journey as volunteers, nangyari talaga siya step by step. Nag-cascade yung information. Kung maga, information na na-shock kami na paano natin hindi alam yung mga bagay na to dati pa na kung alam lang natin Siguro may ginawa na tayo even before. Like, for example, yung simple act na ginagawa namin sa feeding program of trying to gather excess food products sa mga company na may sobra na hindi nabibenta. Nagulat kami na natutunan namin yung fact na all over the world, one-third ng lahat ng pagkain na produce natin, it actually goes to waste, tinatapon, or hindi na binibenta kahit pwede pa. And nagulat kami na one-fourth lang nung one-third ng lahat ng winnie waste across the world or no waste is already enough to end world hunger. So, na-shock kami doon na, oh my gosh, hindi, hindi tayo kulang. Hindi kulang ang mundo sa resources. Pero bakit hindi nakakarating sa mga nangangailangan? And then, nagulat kami na pati yung fact na nasasayang yun, natatapon or napupunta sa dump site sa landfill, may epekto din pala siya sa environment. Kung titignan siya sa epekto niya sa environment, third worst emitter siya. So, doon nag-start yung thoughts of ano pa kayong magagawa natin para sa kalikasan kasi nag-umpisa siya sa pagtulong sa pagbigay ng resources sa mga communities na in need or didn't have enough food or resources. And it turned out that all the decisions we were making sa pagbigay pa lang ng pagkain sa kanila from places na baka masayang, nakakatulong din pala sa environment. So, we learned about the ocean. And one of the first steps was, bukod sa pwede tayong hindi magkalat, <laughs> pwede rin tayong tumulong sa paglinis, sa pag-recover. And um, doon din kami unti-unting, kumbaga namulat yung mata namin, lalong-lalo na sa uh, pollution that's out there, the things that we use every day, tayo mismo, we're learning together. And we are hoping na uh, through the actions of our government, through big companies and brands across the world learning about these things, they will be able to make bigger moves that we can all be a part of, that we can participate in too. <laughs> That's so interesting. And it's so nice to see how involved you are. Pero I'm fascinated, Antoinette, how did you go from being an actress, a celebrity who was taping and then you left the country? And then how did you get into this whole advocacy? Parang what made you realize na parang, wait a minute, I want to do something. I want to be a part of this and I want to be involved. Was there like one particular event or a series of events that led to this? Oh my, that's actually a, a very, very good question. Even for me, para siyang naging transitional moment in my life. Never ko ever, ever, ever in my wildest dreams think that I would be doing what I'm doing today, that we would even have this kind of a non-profit. Like, my mom was always very, very charitable uh, as a human being for, for as long as I can remember. Mahal na mahal siya ng lahat ng tao. And it was really because of her kindness, generosity, and yung walang question, kumbaga pag, pag kailangan mo ng tulong, nandyan siya para sa'yo. And um, actually, Cora is named after her. Cora is her, is my mom's name, but we we call it Communities Organized for Resource Allocation. In 2004, though, my mom got cancer, and it was a really quick phase of just eight months uh, from finding out to the point of losing her. And it was a very, I would say now, like, we're very openly a very traumatizing experience for us, for our family. Like, we never really opened our thoughts to that concept that that could happen that we could just suddenly lose her and she was a very healthy energetic woman who didn't really have any health issues at the time and hindi ko napansin ka agad that uh, after that very intense life event that normally you know it's something that 
we all consider to be a part of the life process for every human being to lose a loved one. But as we also know, we are all different and unique and we react to things differently. And for me, it really resulted in a, a long period of depression, anxiety, and really me losing, I would even say, almost inspiration and drive to do the things that used to make me happy, even my own career. And Shempre, for me, as a person in entertainment, di ba, parang we continue building our careers. We continue building what we have since we began. And for me, it was like, it just was a standstill. And I couldn't, I just couldn't do it. Grateful ako because the, the key to really me just making it to where I am today was the three Fs that I always usually talk about. I say friends, family, and faith. My own self healing, me finding my own way to find the light. And for us, once again, it's, it's, it's a unique journey for everyone. But for me, it was really embedded in my faith. It was a shock to everyone to kind of see me not following the same path and not being as determined. And I guess to, to cut the story short, um, fast forwarding to 2013, we had an offer. And, and this was, sorry, I apologize. I was living in the States when this all happened. So my mom was getting treatment in the US. And after she passed away, I just decided to stay there as well. And um, fast forward to 2013, we got an offer to come back to the Philippines for a quick trip, for a quick homecoming feature for me and my brother. And nung na, na uwi kami dito, our family, our friends, everyone really convinced us to stay, you know. Ang dali lang naman umalis ulit kung kailangan, pero dito muna kayo. Nag-entertainment po ako ulit for a while. I did some shows. I even did a couple of movies when I got back. Pero it was interesting na for the first time, in a very, very long time, I just had this need, this urge, this want to, to be able to do something more while being here. And as much as throughout my life, marami na kami ginagawang charity work din, different shows and things and engagements that we would also be invited to or we would do with our family, this felt different. And I had spoken to some of my friends. Sabi ko, guys, uh, let's try to do something just to give back. You know, we I feel like we're we're so blessed and in any way, maybe we can just do something na pwede na gawin consistent once a month na hindi talaga tayo, parang hindi lang sa special occasions. So nakakatawa kasi talaga sabi pa namin nun, once a month lang. <laughs> so, something we could do together as friends, as family. And within one year of the once a month feeding program, it turned into everything that it is today. And when I look back at the reason why, why did I want to do that? I really attribute it to the pain, to the pain that I had felt. Because I feel that when you actually reach a point na you feel such a deep, intense emotion, pain itself, it may not be the same for every single person. It may not be the same exact story, but the emotion, the intensity can be just as grave. And I started seeing and recognizing pain around me as well in people the way i would feel it kahit ibang pinagdadaanan nila so to me it was almost also a form of me wanting to be able to ease someone else's pain the way i would also hope <laughs> for someone to to somehow be there for me in in the simple way of just listening and being a friend and that's what really reveals the connections of empathy and the, the power to be there for others and really realizing that there's so much we can all do as individuals. And once again, for me, what saved me was the simple act of friends and family being there, listening, um, being open, and being willing to take that action forward to give that love uh, however it may be needed. Wow. 